feeling down, turn the music up. I'm not kidding. It will make you feel better. The right music, that is, will definitely change your mood, elevate your mood, mess with you in a good way, right? It'll, it'll take you out of yourself. Maybe that's it. The point of this is that you, you focus on the music. I know you guys are audiophiles. Don't think like an audiophile. Just, matter of fact, listen on a crappy Bluetooth speaker or something. It's not about the sound this time. That's unusual for me. But it's not about the sound. It's about the music. It's about a mind meld between you and the music, the artists that you love that have that effect on you. Not any old artist that you like. Artists that make you feel better. That's the key here. Something that make you feel better, more up. You've got to turn it up. Listening loud in this case, definitely advise. Just so that you just feel it. Feel it wash over you. Give yourself over to the music and let and let the magic happen. I do it with Beatles music. The Beatles music is the best, most surefire for me. Again, that's personal. Your music will probably be different. But for me, Beatles pre-67, before they got too artsy, preferably John songs, maybe Ringo. Ringo songs, you know, Yellow Summary. Ringo's works, but John's are the best for this for me. And when he's screaming his guts out and he just, just reaching inside of himself and putting everything into that microphone that he's singing into, that's it. That's what does it for me. And it, it's incredible how it works almost every time. Sometimes I'm not in the mood for the Beatles. Okay, so then I'll use uh, Louis Armstrong. And his again, his voice and his horn, it just makes me feel something. It does. Now, uh, now it's important in, in this exercise to... Um, not be thinking about other stuff. Don't think about your problems or anything else. Just listen to it. Dive into it. Deep dive into this music that, that you love, that makes you feel good, makes you feel different, something, whatever. I'm searching for words here, but it's about a connection, a mind meld between you and the artist on the other side of this record, right? That's what's important here. You know, I also use Led Zeppelin, by the way, early Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin 1 or 2, cranked up loud, does it for me. It, 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 I guess it connects me to a past. All this music does, but Led Zeppelin, to my uh, teenage self, my 17, 18-year-old self, and uh, I had a lot less on my mind in those days, so maybe that's it. I, I close off, I close my eyes, I listen to that music, and I, I think back. It, it automatically happens. I don't have to think. It just it pulls me back to my teenage self, and I just it, it energizes me. It pulls me up. So I guess that's it for this. It's a really short episode, but it happened to me this morning. I used this technique this morning, uh, and of course I want to hear from you guys what music works for you. Does this actually work for anybody out there? Or is it just me? I don't think so. But uh, tell me about it. Tell me about your music. Elevation. <laughs> what what changes you? What is a mood altering uh, experience that you get from listening to the right music? And tell me about what you're listening to it on. Again, sound quality isn't part of this exercise. Not not at all. Not for me. So anyway, I think I'm done. Short up. And what can I tell you? My name is Steve Guttenberg. This is the Audiophiliac Daily Show. If you dig it, please subscribe. Hit that button over there. Hit the bell when you do it. Uh, yeah, like me, share me, do all that social media stuff. Uh, if you dig what I did right now and you need more because it's such a short episode, check out the playlist. There's playlists for music reviews and headphone reviews and speaker reviews and amplifier reviews. Tons and tons of stuff. That's it. That's all I got for today. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching. And I hope, I really do, to see you back here again very, very soon. Bye-bye.